Hey guys, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am filming the long awaited um, life update. I'm bending over because I don't want to like, have to reset the camera. But I thought I'd show you my little outfit because I thought that it looks really cute. So I've got this top on. This top is from Asus. First time I'm wearing it. I tried it on before. But yeah, it's the first time I'm wearing I'm wearing some high-waisted shorts. It's like um, cut just above the knee. And I'm just wearing my house slippers. There's no point in showing you that. <laughs> but anyhow, I'm sitting in my garden. And I decided to come and do that long-awaited life update. So I've got some grape juice and um, some peanuts while I'm talking, guys. And I hope... Um, my camera feel like I'm looking up. It feel like I'm looking up. So I don't know if I should lower it a bit more. Um, yeah, I think I might lower it a bit more. So I'm kind of like looking a bit direct instead of like stretching upwards. Yeah, guys, that feels so much better. Yeah. So um. Yeah, I'm just trying to think where do I start. There's a lot been going on, and I'm like, to be fair purposely not really speak on it because anybody like know how I speak on things in the past it's kind of like a bit of a moan a bit of a rant or and all of those things I've kind of want to evolve from you know and outgrow those type of speaking and um, I normally say that oh I'm highlighting but it, it still turned out into a bit of rant and so hopefully today one will just be highlighting okay Anyway, cheers guys. I'm drinking some grape juice as I said before. <clears throat> okay, where do I start? <clears throat> Let's start on the positive. You guys know I've been here, it's going on over two and a half years. No, that's not right. I mean, not in Penzance, because it's going up to about three or so years in Penzance. But I mean, like in this home. So it's like one over one and a half years. So that would be correct. Yeah, guys. So you know, it's 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 a been a big move for us. But as I shared in previous videos, this was like my end destination in my mind, regardless of um, what was taking place. Um, so we've been here, and the transition not always been smooth but from like moving to Cornwall by myself with my family and um, like all the struggles that comes along with it I learned how to like depend on God because like in my time of um, feeling real heavy drained depressed down weak you know I had to turn to prior I had to turn to prior um, through when my daughter so start having seizure because um, for those who knows my daughter is epilepsy and um, yeah you know I've always been a prayerful person but then I start learning more and more the importance because I used to shy away from it um, I used to pray but very light not too deep you know I was scared of going too deep um, yeah because sometimes it, it can become overwhelming so through our time here, we've, we've been living in different places, like in Penzance. Um, yeah, because we live in like the same area, but different houses in Penzance. And then we moved to Hale for a period, and now we're back in Penzance. So yeah, and um, well, the, the kids kind of um, remained, when we were living in Hale, they re remained in their school in Penzance. And um, life has been difficult, but I'd say good also. Um, the difficulty comes where I have to be responsible for um, my four kids, three prior, but then I moved my eldest boy down uh, with me. Um, and yeah, it, as a mom on my own, it, it has been challenging. But I just kept in my prayer, keep having faith, and God put some good people in my life, I always speak on them. Um, you know, the Duchesne found football, which is one of his greatest passion. 
that's what he loves for me was in my womb I would say you know I, I, I didn't realize I think I want to say after I bought his first football cake then the memories from that and I, I, I would say it probably was about two then two and he's always into it mom mom you know this is this is what I do this is what I do and um, when we lived in Hampshire didn't really get much opportunity we he had he was in one team but not for long long but you know he was in a team and then when we Fast forward to Penzance now, he went to school and he was probably just kicking the ball around with his friends and you know we met um, a lovely, really lovely lad that um, they became great friends and looked out for each other and he introduced him to the team that he was in and that's where the Shane football journey really began and um, yeah ever since that He's been doing really well. Dishane is a hard worker. He's a hard grafter. Um, I'm touching on him a lot because um, most of my attention went into him more. Um, as you guys can see, Angela is my youngest as well. A great portion of that go into him as well. And then I've got my daughter. That's epilepsy. So I'm just like all over. And my... Um, now 19 year old because he was 18 when he moved down um you know i don't really ask a lot from him because just having him with us is a lot in itself for me you know but he does his best and um even though to be honest i think he can do better but i've realized and come to the realization that I'm far better off having him with me regardless of um, what I might dislike or thinking oh you can do me a lot better you need to do this you need to do that he started college and stuff and you know it, it just hasn't followed through 100% and you know you, we had COVID but he still managed to come out with that <laughs> great you know funny enough <laughs> and um, he tried carpentry as well bless him and yeah so the way I thought that's why you cannot be sure of how you cannot micromanage anybody's life you can't be sure of any outcome you just have to hope and pray for the best and um, which is what I've learned in you know over time and um, like I said be very prayerful and keep in my prayer that's that's where I best thrive when I'm in my prayer and giving God thanks and being mindful of how I am with others and with my children also so in regards to that with Ramar things that he doesn't like he doesn't really like to be on the camera a lot and sometimes I say oh like what's the big deal da 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 well I've learned to kind of like just leave him to his own minds and um, you know there's lots of light in him as well like you know everybody know him in terms like his friends being manageable I mean he does his other side stuff that <laughs> I might deemed not the best in terms of you know not wanting to listen that's where my biggest issue comes with him but now he's turned 19 and he's responsible for his own self, it becomes a lot easier and I'm kind of like just sticking my prayer where he's concerned. So, and um, he, he does these little jobs here and there as well, which, you know, I'm grateful for. And um, he's very much into music. He's very much into music. He's got so much hidden talents, so much hidden talents. That boy stayed and he trains himself he don't go to no gym nothing he trains himself and um he looks like he could be in the army there's he's got so much potential so much potential and i find now him and his brothers like um Deshane is getting closer and sometimes they train with each other stuff like that so um yeah you know we have the ups and we have the downs there was um let's see if i want to touch on that first yeah, I'll touch on that. 
Um, there was an incident just happened not so long ago, I'd say probably a couple of weeks ago, where um, I'm in the kitchen cooking and um, all I hear is um, Deshane came home from school and I, I just shouted, oh, you are right, Deshane? He said, yes, that was that. Um, I just carried on with what I'm doing. Sometimes I hear the door knock and it might be like a parcel or someone there. Um, so I left the kitchen and I went to collect the parcel. I came back in and like not long after that, I hear the door knock again and I'm like, oh, you know, what's going on? Anyway, I went, I thought it'd be another parcel or whatnot. Ooh, sitting my like, leg like this is not comfortable at all. <laughs> it's aching now. But yeah, um, so I, I went to get the, tried to get the door again and um, as I'm going towards the door, all I'm hearing from my eldest boy, mom, mom, don't open the door, don't open the door. So I'm like, um, what's going on? He's saying, don't open the door, don't open the door. Um, so I thought to myself, you know what, let me go have a look through my window. So I have a look through my window, so like um, a I'm, I'm man, young man, you know, knocking at the door and I was like saying to my lot what's going on what's going on up you know unbeknownst to me because I have no idea what's taking place um one of my kids was in a fight me thinking it's Ramar because <laughs> I've been through so much this year with Deshane it's when I say unbelievable I said to Deshane recently I said Deshane so much stuff hasn't happened to you for a long time how come, don't you realize like all of a sudden, like there's just like back to back to back stuff. Anyway, let me get into the story and then I'll just give you like an overall of what's happening with him sometimes. So, um, I said to Ramar, listen, this is my house and I'm not gonna be locking up in my house. I'm, I'm answering the door, you know, cause what am I gonna turn to? Like in, in Jamaica, you'd have the phrase to say, um, you're not up on if I if I listen to what you say and go curl up somewhere and hide and leave the door and people banging it off anything would go off and um, I might as well give him the reins to run my house now because so you get on speed where I'm coming from so I um, said no and I, I went open the door I went out I said what's going on and the guy was a bit high rated and he's trying to explain and I said to him listen He's saying, you know, my kid beat up on his kid or, or his missus kid. I'm not sure whether he's the true dad or not. But anyway, that, that was the situation. And I'm like, listen, I, I am not aware of that situation happening. Um, I'd like to, like, be a bit updated. Then my boys are sticking their head out and they, they're talking the incident, what happened. Long story short, I didn't even know that my eldest boy went out and had a f um, fight and then people ganged up on him and everybody come and it was like free for her all it wasn't one-on-one -on -one anymore everybody was coming and taking their shot, shot at him um, and you know the reality is the reality this is not a mixed fight this is black kids which is my kids well let's get it right black child which is my 19 year old child and the white kids which is numerous different white kids from different houses from what I understood and um, he might have been fighting with what a particular one and then the other children come and get in their hit with them one of them this particular child that moving forward Deshane went and had a a fight with used a scooter to hit Ramar as well so I think I unbeknownst to me that was going on probably previously and then when he went to school, everybody, because that's how they are, that's how the children are, they snap it, they talk about it, da 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 And he got back to Duchesne, um, is that this one particular child um, chucked a scooter on Ramar, and it wasn't one-on-one -on -one anymore. And um, yeah, they egged Duchesne on to get in, in, in a fight, because I, there's a video, and I see where they egged him on, so they, he's having a punch up with the, the guy, Punch 
up and then where we got the upper hand you can see some other schoolboys running and break them loose but obviously the punch up resulting the, the other kid having his head bleeding so um the story started unravel to me so when the my eldest boy explained to the dad or stepdad what has taken place and um, he said you know it wasn't me that fight today because uh, I knew he was indoors all day so it couldn't have been him but even more so shocking realizing it was the shame so I nearly passed out but obviously I had to hold my cool when I found that out and um, you know, I said, I'm ever so sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to, like, really sit down and try to get the full side of story. But I can't send my kids out here to pacify anything or to get in any further alcotation, whatever the word is. So um, she, he said to me, oh, it's not me you have to worry about. It's my missus. And as soon as he said that, you could see the mom coming with the child from down the road. And she was just very high rated. So I'm standing there. And I was like, okay, cool. And um, when she got there, she just started going off, going off, going off. The whole neighborhood, you know, could hear. Not everybody came up, but people was hearing and they knew what was happening. Um, so she explained, I said to her, well, I'm really sorry, you know, this has taken place. I wasn't aware of it. And she's there telling me, oh, you need to teach your kids manners, da, 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 da. And she was just going off. No mention of the previous situation where her kid got involved. No mention of that. I don't know where you people moved down here. So all of a sudden, I'm just like licked off my feet. And I'm thinking, you people, hello. You know, we are free to live anywhere we are. All of a sudden now, you're going to be um, differentiating. It's not two lads fighting anymore. It's something else. So that ticks me off. And um, even later on, my neighbors was able to tell me, other racist remarks that she was making that I never understood. I just hear you people among with whatever else and I knew where she was coming from. So um, she was up in my face, hitting my bin, da 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 da. I just stand firm because you know I knew even though like some point she was like as, as if she's touching nose with me. I've, I know to myself I am not putting my hands on her first. I'm just letting her and when she and I'm just staring her down like you know you might mean business but I also mean business if you put your hand on me and um, you know this is not what I want but my hands are tied I have to defend myself if you touch me kind of thing um, anyway she's she's not really getting any joy because no matter how she hit the bin no matter how she rackles no matter how she go on she ain't touch me so I ain't got a problem so um, she was shouting at my kids, saying, how would you like it if I punch your mom's face in, da 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 ra, whatever. And she's just going off. And I'm just standing there. Anyhow, um, when she see that she wasn't getting anywhere, she kind of got angry and she went off with her, with the, the kids and the, the dad. And I said to the dad, you know, I'm ever so sorry that this is taking place. But, you know, the situation, there's more to it. Because I know that my boy ain't going to just go and get involved with anything just uh, for the sake of just going to punch on somebody. Anyway, I was upset, really upset. I was upset with Shane. I'm thinking to myself, all the back-to-back -back stuff that's going on with you, why you got yourself involved. When they got to the end of the, the bottom of the story, then I thought to myself, you know what, at the end of the day, I don't want everybody thinking they can gang up on my, my eldest boy and he ain't got nobody to support him and um, he probably a running thing in the future. Do you get what I'm saying? So I have to be thinking all of these things are mad, but at the same time I'm thinking, <clears throat> fair enough. You know what I mean? And um, it, it was just a, a bit of a difficult one in the process. Because I just start thinking, oh, here we go. All of a sudden, it's going to be a case of, and then she was saying that um, it's not over kind of thing. So I'm thinking, oh God, what's going to go on now? Now I'm going to have to be making sure that she can get to school safely and back, da 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 kind of thing. And um, making sure that nothing like this happened because, again. And Dishan was so sorry. He was there pushing his mouth through the door. I'm sorry. I'm so I was like, 
Shut up, be quiet, it's done now. So, uh, you know, but I could tell that he was sorry about the whole thing. But at the same time, um, sticking up for his brother, you know, I'll teach him not to hit anybody first, not to um, take advantage of anyone and all the rest considering. Because when it comes to a black family, it be us and maybe some Africans here and there and um, far and few between. So, you know, you guys see my vlogs. When I have vlogs, you don't really see anybody else apart from myself that's black around. It's what my, my point I'm trying to, you understand? You don't come into an area if, if that's your, the, the life you want, to be in ag, you know what I mean? And um, I don't want to be drafting my children in ag neither. But at the end of the day, I know my eldest boy, he does get himself into a few situation hopefully you know because i went as you can know i went off on on them and i've always kind of been like that in terms of like making sure you don't bring no problem to my doors kind of thing anyway i think as time went by the situation diffused and other people um my neighbor one of my neighbor mentioned that she even said you know to her sister um that child all he does which is the shame his place football, he don't really get in conflicts, da 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 da. So, and um, other people from his school, the, the children, parents had a word with the family, uh, stuff like that. So they knew that it's not a problematic child, but if anybody wanna come and say that they're, they're gonna beat the crap out of his brother, he's not gonna, do you know what I mean? We, then we're gonna have to decide what we on, but we're not gonna be like making problem. But at the end of the day, we're not gonna just lie down and let, and die basically. Anyways, um, that was that. So yeah, you know, a lot of changes. When I was saying about Deshane, Deshane had a, a really bad football first major injury and um, he was out of football for a period of time. Difficult time, I had to main, make sure that he, he was all right mentally and stuff. And he, he done really well. You know, I was so proud of myself, how I handled it. I was so proud of the people that was there when, when he, he um, had the injury, how they dealt with it as well. And um, thank God, Angelo's dad was around uh, with us as well. So I just sent Angelo and Tilly back with him. And then I went to the um, hospital with Deshane in the ambulance and stuff like that. So he's been through that. He's been through um, just like recuperate, recovering and trying to get back um, from his injury and stuff. He's played a friendly recently because um, we actually change team now football team for him because he's just getting to the stage where he he, he, he needs to play with bigger boys and more a more rougher game because uh, you know this is what the passion is this is what his future is in his mind so i had to make the decision to say all right then you know you give this team three years um so fair enough you know if you need to move on we need to make that transition so now he's with um a different team and um yeah you know that's that's been going really well i'm sitting in the sun i feel like i'm melting away guys <laughs> um so you know just encouraging them to make sure that they keep their head up and keep positive make sure they're doing what was right ever since that incident as always i just check when he's um, finished school, making sure he's on his way back um, before we had to take him back and forth. But like now, it's kind of died down a bit. We make sure that he's on his way home. He always on his way home, come home, etc., etc. You know, learning from that, things are going to happen, you know. I don't really, really want to turn this video into that, but most of the stuff is really honestly based on his transitioning so to speak in school wise a plus you know always good report ever since he said to me mom i need to swap school i need to change school that school has been great touch wood um um he played for like more than one teams that he's excelled in and you know, I'll give you guys more details because I'll try to vlog a little bit more in his football life. And um, I see what happens with Ramar because he's following the music path a bit as well. 
um, I'm sure I've had video where you hear him doing his music and stuff so with him and he get on very well with the youngest as well sometimes you know he, he, he steps in um, and play with his little brother and his little brother they love each other that's one thing I could give all of them they love each other if I'm like really out for the count in terms of mood and I'm going through it depressive wise that you see them gravitate to one another and just helping each other to, to go go along so um, I've got no regrets you know we're here to stay we're not here to be brushed off or pushed away we've been through some stuff where if you don't have grit you you know there's times when I'm telling you the truth guys I feel like you know maybe this is not gonna be my end place I'm gonna get up and go again you don't know what the future holds um, but um, it's nowhere near the future it'd be tapping out and coming back in like visiting etc um i've been back to basingstoke to visit so i've vlogged that um which was really good really great experience um touch a few base you know just been evolving and um situation that had me pressed in the past i got to the stage where i've elevated from that i've seen it in a better light and um make my peace with any negative and um just spreading love to be fair spreading love to people spreading love to um you know when i went back there i went to see my kids godparents because she has been a positive influence in her lives when like in cornwall where god will put people in your life that uplift you and help you through in Hampshire she was that person you know um, there's other people there but specifically her anything happened I could just send my kids there and know that they'd be all right and it was like a real pleasant visit um, Angela and Tilly came with me and Tilly met her best mate that she had when she was probably about four years old and they went off and do their own thing and the mom you know is a like-minded person like myself so she knew the importance of them meeting up with each other and just getting time with each other and it was um, a really good trip then I came back um, after a while one of my nieces she's she was pregnant and she was having a baby shower and, and I just thought to myself you know what Rose I just felt it in my spirit that try and attend this shower and um, I did and you know every time we see family I could see my kids eyes light up you know and it's very important and the family members as well on their side as well it's always like a happy moment it's not perfect but you know nothing is perfect your family is your family and um holding on to those those things so that was a great visit as well and even yesterday my niece told me that she had the baby and you know it's just like amazing stuff um just trying to hang on in there it's like the end of the school year I speak a little bit on Angelo because he's coming out of his shell a lot um, done so well in his sports day um, I remember when he just started school he never really used to talk to anyone nobody knew his character nobody knew what he could be like and now he's really out of himself he's got friends that um, loads of school friends He's got friends that started school with him, that's his neighbours. He's more talkative now with them, he's more talkative in general with everybody. The people around me, in my actual neighbourhood, they show me love. Anything I could knock on somebody's door and say, oh, is, um, this, is this what's happening? And they'll tell me, even when the incident happened, my neighbours were there, they came and they have a chat with me and said, you know, I see what's happened and stuff like that. So I'm just putting it out there. Um, the other day I, even, I told my mom because I didn't tell anyone I don't really tell people stuff these days but I told my mom one so that somebody knows that something took place that's one and um, two you know in those moments I felt a bit alone as well so I shared it with my mom and I don't really share much you know stuff but um 
I used to share a lot with my mom, so sometimes it tends to be the fact that I'll still highlight lighter and, and stuff that's happening, you know, uh, maybe not before or any time, like off soon after, but eventually I'll share it with her. Um, yeah, and I, and I think um, I try to continue to do that because it's very good to let people know what's happening around just in case. Um, in regards to school, I'm not too keen on Tilly's school anymore. She didn't want to go to that school in the first place, only send her, send her there because her brother was going there. And now her brother's left, like, and doing so well. And, you know, Tilly's doing well academically, but she's sometimes a struggle because she mixed up with some... I, would, I don't know. You know, everybody's good, but if they want to misbe misbehave and stuff like that, and sometimes the teacher, they call me and they'll tell me straight up. And sometimes I can't believe the, the, the nonsense that takes place, but they'll tell me, you know, because they let me know. And I'll say to them, listen, I'm thinking of pulling her X, Y, and Z. And they just said, you know, she's doing brilliant academically, but it's just mixing with the wrong crowd. They tell me straight, you know, so I'm in the middle of whether or not I'm going to move her and put her in the Shane School, which that's the school she wanted to go in the first place kind of thing. So I'm seeing what's happening there. Um, you know, she's growing up and I, I kind of have to make sure that she's safe as best as possible, even though the school that she's going to is aware of her situation with epilepsy. So you feel a bit more comfortable. But nevertheless, the coming home late, the um, sometimes they be looking. Ooh. Guys, my battery is giving up on me. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm not going to be here long. I'm going to wrap this up. All in all, we're doing well. I cannot complain. I stay my prior. I stay my prior. If it had not been for the Lord on my side, I don't know where I'd be. Because obviously, you know, they say in life, if you want good, your nose have to run. I was watching um, the race, you know, that um, Jamaica is Shelley and Fraser and all the Jamaican girls are doing really well in the race and um the races yeah it's very inspiring just to hear her story she talk about the, the trials that she has in her journey coming through and um you know sometimes you're growing up nobody teach you these things nobody tell you these things if you if you reach at the first hurdle and something goes wrong and you give up that's the end of you so now I'm, i know better i teach my kids to stick in there to to do their best in all that they do and to keep pushing through um, sometimes things that may not go the way they want it to go but it doesn't mean that we should give up and I've learned to dig my heels in you know I'm not easily rattled I'm not easily stirred and um, people who is of the same like-minded things that want good out of life good for their children they're quite happy to have me around and um, you know even though me I'm free it's it's like the songwriter said Spirit, lead me where, where my fate is without borders. Let me walk upon the water wherever you may take me. Do you know what I mean? So those things, it's, you know, I just don't, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not just here for the sake of being here. I, I know I'm free to go anywhere in life and I'm not easily scared and I'm not easily rattled. Um, I'm not going to take the small minority of things and use it to wipe out all the other good stuff because like i said we've been here and if it hadn't been like the same description i make in terms of um we may be in the one percentile those other percentage has been great to us as well that they show us love you know um wait whether it be the schools whether it be my neighbors um whether it be the football families that we've encountered, the coaches, you know, we the mass is more than the minority. The mass that's showed us love, that's accept us, that's happy with um, who we are and the work that we've done. You know, I, I've got four children, not all of them, we're, not, we're not all going to be perfect and I'm not going to shy away and be ashamed because one of my kids or more than one kids will do and I, I've realised that none of them is better than the other. You know what I mean? Not to say that Sometimes, um, depending on 
this person may be doing great it doesn't mean that he's better than the other one that you know I've learned that because I was like one of the ones in my family that when I was going to school I, I'm always disheveled basically <laughs> If anyone out there know what I mean, I was one of the roughest one in my family. Even when my mom like give us the best uniform to go out to school, by the time a week later, my uniform looked like I picked it up somewhere from somewhere. Do you know what I mean? So knowing these things, I I'm not here to judge. It's not for me to judge at all. So I try my best to keep neutral and to know that um, all my children are good. They they will have their times, and um, instead of like moaning and going in depression or being too down about it. I just have to keep pushing on and keep encouraging them to keep praying for them keep encouraging them to pray and stuff and um health wise it is it, it's, it's an uphill battle you know there's nights when i can't sleep because my knee is just killing me and there's there's weeks when i'm out for like a whole week you know um down and in depression and somebody else have to kind of like pop, model through when i'm down it's really hard and my household things don't get done and then when i'm feeling a lot better there's a lot of stuff to catch up on and etc that's how that's how i've been and um you guys see me in all different lights you know i don't hide anything even through the process of um that incident happened you know i used to go around a lot in my neighborhood with my wigs on and blah 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 blah, blah. i have the door knock I'm there running for my wig. Nobody knows this, but I'm sharing it today. I'm there running back for my wig. If my wig is upstairs, I'm downstairs. I'm, I'm like, hello, what's going on here? It's not like you, Rose. So I'm like, strip back my natural hair, go up to the school. You want to see me this morning? I, I brush myself up now, but you want to see me this morning on my school run with Angelo. So I ain't got nothing to hide. I'll strip back to zero. Do you know what I mean? Because um, we all human on this earth. We all lead we all need love we all need um caring we, we every each and every one of us of us on this earth need the same things do you know what i mean and knowing that and like i said i cannot file fault the 99 percentile you know of love that we we get living in cornwall it is hard don't get me wrong or maybe the 99 is the 99 because I barely move about a lot. Do you get what I'm saying? But I know that the mass, you know, because I'm never good at maths. The mass of the people show us, show us love. The mass. And I, and I, and I can ex um, coexist. And I, I'm, I'm not going to be, like, staying somewhere for comfort. You, you have to be... A bit uncomfortable to evolve in this world you know I've seen it somewhere and that is the gospel you have to be uncomfortable to evolve and there's so much um, moms you know even the football moms they, they teach me so much so much about grit so much about um, positive behavior so so much so 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 much because it's not like they don't go through it with their own kids but it's just the way you behave and the way you you handle yourself and you just keep your head up and keep positive and don't let anybody drag you through the gutters. And um, speaking about that incident I was telling you guys about as well, even for the mom, I felt her pain. But well, I've had an incident that happened to me where um, my child's come home and said to me, because she stick up for another child, on another day they backed her up until when she, you know, she walking with the same child, they're like, oh, we're not here for you, we're here. They're here for my child because she stick up for the other child, you know what I mean? And they drag their head and my child suffer from epilepsy. It bleeds my heart when she's calling me and telling me. But I say to myself, you know, you have to know how to assert yourself. You know, if I don't know how to assert myself, I couldn't come and put myself in the midst. You have to know how to navigate and assert yourself in life. It's not every fight you're going to have to, you're going to have to fight like that. Sometimes you're going to have to take the beating in terms of, so in, you just have to know, you know? And like I said, even with Angelo's school, it's been fantastic. Angelo run his race and I didn't even know it was in him. Like, he always telling me, mom, I'm fast, you know, I'm fast. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, Angelo, I know you're fast. Mom, I'm fast, you know, I'm fast. 
Anyway, he won, he won his school race, and that boy, when I say run, Angela, run, he ran and he won. I, you know, quite impressed. So he, he's, he's just coming out of his shell more and more. Um, there's so much positive with Tilly Rose because even regardless of her situation, her uh, uh, grades hasn't deteriorated, you know, it just behaviors that's developing over, over a period of time. And I see some of her see some of me in her, you know, so I have to kind of steer her that way and pray for her, stuff like that. We, we, the Shane, Shane wants good. He's always been that child that want to do right and what's pleasing to me and always doing his best. He's a hard worker, he's a hard grafter. Sometimes the Shane is spread so thin across like his football journey. He's spread so thin because he have to play for so much team. He's worn out. He's, you know, there's, there's so much behind the scenes stuff. And he still pushed through. And I tell you, sometimes when I say, share something with you guys as well, when I say things happen for a reason sometimes, and you, you, you're not sure when you're going through it, but it happened for a reason. Because since Deshaun has had his injury, he had to train the other leg to, to, to play even more. And um, it's, that's strengthening up as well, you know. And like I said, when he just started back out, I could, my heart believed because I could see him struggling. But the other day he played a friendly and trust me I was pretty impressed so you just have to keep at it keep working at it and um, get all trying you know Ramar the other day he goes oh mom I got paid you know um, did you want me to get you some stuff from shop or did you want me to give you money I wanted, I wanted to go down to the pool one day and he goes do you want me to give you money to go down to the pool and I was like no Ramar it's, it's alright save your money keep your money you know but he offers, and he, he, he's, he's not a mean child. That, that boy, he get that thing from me. He give away everything and keep himself with nothing. That I know for a fact because he's done it before. And I'm not talking about pennies. I'm talking about proper money. So um, I just continually pray for them because I know the power of prayer. And I just pray that anybody out there that's a prayer warrior just keep praying over my children and lift them up in your spirit and i'll just keep going and trying to make sure that our light keeps shining and we're just doing our best you know and um when things come that may seem difficult just trying to get through it the best way we can um got a bit more help now as well angelo dad is around a lot more not that <laughs> sometimes we're just like ah! but he's around so he helps out a lot with his kid and even the maneuvering of the children stuff like that um i see like even when i mentioned the sports day like when he see the two of us the way his face lift up that's enough to kind of like drag on through in life knowing that he's got his mom and dad support because I, I haven't got that with my other children you know so i know the importance of that and even when i forget just the look on Angelo's face reminds me of the importance of trying to coexist with his dad or, or keeping a good relationship enough to, to make sure that he he is good. Even though sometimes I'm like, oh my days, you know, this is like too much. Um, I cannot, you know, <laughs> but um, we move, you know. So um, yeah, that's what's that's what's happening, guys. I'm just taking it every day at a time. I'm taking my good days with my bad days, and then I, I um, when I get through my hard and, and bad days, I, I know to give thanks, you know. And and sometimes when I'm going through my real bad times and I can't do anything and I can't do much, I just stay hopeful. And when I come out of that, I just give thanks and I pray. And I, I read my Bible a lot as well, guys. I've I've never prayed and read my Bible so much, and I can improve a lot more. But what I'm saying, I read my Bible a lot and I'm trying to encourage my children to stick in their prayer and I'm doing the groundwork like my mother did with me um, in, in knowing, um, teaching them the benefits of prayer and knowing God. So this is, this is where I'm going to love you guys and leave you. Um, lots of love out there to you all. Lots of best wishes. Um, sometimes... Uh, I'm making excuse here guys but it is true the difficulty of vlogging through my actual life sometimes it, 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 it's sometimes it's not really possible but i am trying to 
be better at it. Um, not so much to, to go too deep in because I've bring you guys really deep in before. But now I'm taking my time until you guys get back to that place where you're more deep in. I'll show you a little bit here from there. So the, the story and the journey. Um, or if something happened, I want to come and catch you guys up about. Then you can kind of see where I'm coming from, so, so to speak. You know, because it's always good to let others know what's happening with you. Um, yeah. So lots of love, guys, and best wishes. I am actually baking, so I'm going to go in and edit this video long-awaited life update so that's what's happening guys um, nearly at the end of the school today is Tuesday and um, Fridays at the end of the school year and we actually trying to make it through <laughs> um, and just reset and try and have a, a little bit of a summer and start again guys lots of love lots of best wishes take care till I see you guys in another video don't forget, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Bye, guys.